Now we know this is the same SNC Lavalin scamster as it as he as existed only a few months ago. Justin Trudeau has not changed. There will be more SNC Lavalin scandals, and we know that because he brought back the very architect of that scandal to serve at the center of his decision-making organization. M Mr. Butts is, is going to be contributing to our, our campaign efforts, and, and, and that's a good thing. It, it's no great surprise to uh, the folks in this room or to those of us who are in, engaged in public life that the Conservatives are back to attacking the Prime Minister and his, his staff on a personal basis. News that the Liberal re-election campaign team includes the Prime Minister's former Principal Secretary, as you heard there, is getting a lot of reaction on the airwaves, online and in print. Jerry Butts will be part of a group of Trudeau insiders behind the 2019 Liberal election team. This, despite the fact he was a central figure in the SNC-Lavalin controversy. The controversy that led not only to his own resignation, but the resignation of two senior cabinet ministers, Jody Wilson-Raybould and Jane Philpott. So why bring Butts back and what message does it send to the public? Time for the power panel. In Toronto, Ginny Roth of Crestview Strategy, alongside Brad Levine of Council Public Affairs, and in Montreal, former Quebec Liberal Immigration and Environment Minister David Ertel. Hi to all three of you. Great to see Hi, you. Hi, Hello. Uh, Ginny, I'll start with you, and I'll just sort of tell our viewers that it was Aaron Wary, my colleague who reported this first this weekend, and, and what he reported was that 60 people were in Ottawa for a day and a half to discuss the Liberal government's campaign for re-election. Jerry Butts was there, and the exact role he's going to play isn't clear, but obviously the Liberals are not denying that he's there. So why do you think, uh, what do you make of the reaction so far? So I think this tells voters a couple things. Uh, and I think the most important thing of all is this question of the re-election of the Prime Minister. You know, when Justin Trudeau ran the first time, there was a lot of talk about hope and change. And I think part of the reason the SNC-Lavalin scandal was so big, and it was big, like let's not forget this consumed eight weeks of the public's attention and really hit the government hard, the Liberal Party hard in the polls. And the reason for that is because it hit to the core at the, the re-election question, which was uh, the that Justin Trudeau was not who he said he'd be. He was a real disappointment on questions of governance and ethics uh, and, and judgment. And so reminding voters of that is, is just really not helpful for, for really two reasons, I'd say. One is, is actual swing voters. So um, particularly progressives who are thinking about whether they go with a different option this time around or whether they go with Justin Trudeau again, who might have been starting to come back around, are saying, wait, this is the guy who resigned. This is the guy who you tacitly kind of implied was implicit in this scandal, who's now back at the top Although advising uh, the liberals on their campaign going forward. Uh, and the, the second reason is that um, this is really motivating for the bases of the other parties. So if you're an NDP uh, supporter or a Conservative supporter or even a Green Party supporter um, who are thinking about, you know, do I volunteer this time around? Do I donate? Do I even vote? Uh, this is really motivating. This is the kind of thing that it gets you out and gets you helping your party. Uh, so I, I really think it was a bad sign uh, and bad news for the Liberals over the next few weeks. We'll see if it sticks uh, as we get closer to the campaign. Brad, if it motivates the bases of other parties or the, the people who might be volunteering, does it go that far into the public? Like, is this something that people like us are talking about or will people outside of that sphere be as well? Well, maybe. And we're, we're yet, to, yet to see what its full impact will be. But let's, let's, let's be clear here. This, is, this should not be a surprise to any observer, uh, whether we uh, you know, approve of the fact or disapprove of the fact that Jerry Butts is back in the, in the, in the campaign trail. Uh, there's no question this was part of the design. Uh, you know, wait till the, the scandal cools off, wait till the House rises, uh, people won't be seeing SNC in the papers or on power and politics on a daily basis anymore, and then he can come back and see, test the waters to see whether or not uh, there's a backlash or whether or not it's a big shrug. Uh, you know, we're, we're the Is third week of July. That, it's hard to get a reaction uh, in politics, uh, you know, outside of an election uh, in the dead of summer. So uh, let's, let, you know, we have, to, uh, we have to be kind of, I think, But what's wrong with that? Like. About that. Well, the, I, now the, the question, though, I, I want to pick up on a point that that Ginny made because I think it's the most salient one, and that is, what impact could this have, uh, if any, for the other parties uh, in the in the overall election? One of the brand strengths that Trudeau brought to the 2015, he said that he would do politics differently. He would be different from Stephen Harper. He'd be different from his predecessors within the Liberal Party. He would clean it all up. The challenge for the New Democrats and for the Conservatives will be to to draw that distinction and his presence 
uh, on the campaign team to draw that distinction that no, Mr. Trudeau, you are no different. You promised things like electoral reform, you didn't bring it in. You promised reconciliation in First Nations, you haven't succeeded there. You promised to be a feminist prime minister and you lost two senior cabinet ministers to uh, this scandal. Uh, and you know whether or not you want to say that Jerry Butts was was behind it or a part of it. There's no question that his resignation was a direct result of the SNC Lavalin uh, uh, scandal, and therefore uh, he is tainted with that SNC brush. Will his presence back in the campaign uh, team uh, bring back SNC? Certainly, uh, New Democrats and Conservatives are going to try to make sure that that is the case. Whether or not we're successful, uh, we'll have to come back next week. And check in. <laughs> David, what do you think? And, and I and I take your point on Brad and Ginny on the idea of like the public's perception and how they tie uh, Mr. Botts to everything that happened. He did insist when he resigned, and I still don't really fully understand why he did resign, but he did insist that he didn't do anything wrong. And he did testify to that as well. You know, he, he, he went over his point of view and, and the actions he took from his perspective. Do you think, uh, David, that, that, that his presence will still taint the Liberals? I think it's already been factored in, unless there's some sort of next bombshell about SNC we don't know about. And here in Quebec today, the Caisse de Depot, which is Quebec's largest pension plan, actually uh, issued a warning to SNC about its, its performance, which is very rare for this type of pension fund. But otherwise, if there isn't any more on this scandal per se, I think it's already been factored in by the voters. Now, I, I agree with, with Brad and Ginny on their points, but at the same time, uh, it's good for the liberal base as well to see Jerry Butts coming back. It's, it's actually something that can motivate, as it does, it will motivate the bases of the opposition parties. But for the liberals, it's something to see positively as well. And let's remember, uh, one of the keys of this election is going to be Ontario, and that's where Jerry Butts' expertise is really needed, because there's a lot of swing ridings in Ontario. Uh, Jerry Butts' experience is from Ontario, he's a former McGuinty uh, advisor as well. So I think for the Liberals, it's actually a good sign, and any negativity about Jerry Butts coming back is already factored in. Interesting. Three different perspectives. And the media gets to say Butts is back about 40 times in the <laughs> yeah. two days, so there's that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video. Thanks for watching.